Hello everyone, how to simplify this nice algebraic expression if we have 9 divided by 4 and its whole exponent is also 9 divided by 4. Uh, but here in this question calculator is not allowed uh, so this means that we need to show all of the working on this paper. So here we need to solve this problem uh, step by step uh, so that uh, I hope so you like this method but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section. And now we move towards the solution of this problem. So here first we focus on the base of this term and we write um, this 9 as 3 square and we write this 4 as 2 square and its whole exponent is 9 divided by 4. So further in the next step we need uh, to use here the nice exponential law you know about that if we have a to the power of m divided by b to the power of m it will be written as a over b and its whole power is m so we use this nice exponential law on base of the term uh, base of this term so uh, it will be written as 3 divided by 2 whole square and its whole exponent is 9 divided by 4 so further in the next step uh, here uh, we use an other exponential law you know about that if we have uh, a to the power of m to the power of n is equals to a to the power of m multiplied by n so according to this rule uh, we multiply these two exponents and it will be written as 3 over 2 to the power of 2 multiplied by 9 divided by 4 and further in the next step we have this is 2 times of 2 becomes 4 and we get 3 divided by 2 to the power of 9 divided by 2 and further in the next step we have this is 3 divided by 2 uh, to the power of 9 divided by 2 and now here we rewrite this 9 as this is 3 divided by 2 to the power of 9 and it will become here 5 plus 4 divided by 2 and now here we need to break this fraction and it will be written as 3 divided by 2 to the power of 5 over 2 plus 4 over 2 and now we have this is 3 divided by 2 to the power of this is 5 over 2 plus these are cancelled out by each other and we get 2 times 2 becomes 4 and further in the next step here we need another exponential law you know that if we have a to the power of m plus n is equals to a to the power of m multiplied by a to the power of n so according to this rule so after applying uh, this exponential law we break these exponents as in this form this is 3 divided by 2 to the power of 2 into 3 divided by 2 to the power of 5 over 2 and here uh, we apply these two separately on both of these values and 3 square becomes 9 and 2 square becomes 4 into this is 3 divided by 2 to the power of 5 over 2 and here in the next step uh, we need to focus on the exponent 5 over 2 so we write it as 3 divided by 2 to the power of 5 multiplied by 1 over 2 and here we move 1 over 2 inside the term and we apply 1 over 2 separately on both of these values and it will becomes 9 over 4 9 over 4 times of 3 to the power of 1 over 2 divided by 2 to the power of 1 over 2 and its whole power is 5 and we know about that 3 to the power of 1 over 2 is equal to square root of 3 and 2 to the power of 1 over 2 is equal to square root of 2 and its whole power is 5. So here we apply uh, this nice exponential uh, rule. So 3 square root of 3 to the power of 5 means that we multiply square root of 3 uh, with 5 times. Uh, so when we multiply square root of 3 5 times it will be written as in this form and in the same pattern uh, we multiply square root of 2 with 5 times and it will become square root of 2 into 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 square root of 2. 
so now here in the next step we need to make the pair of these terms so we write these in pair of this term and this term similarly this term and this term so after making the pairs it will be written as 9 divided by 4 into we write this term as square root of 3 and its whole square into here we have this is square root of 3 and its whole square multiplied by square root of 3 divided by similarly we make and it is divided by we write this term as square root of 2 and its whole square multiplied by square root of 2 and its whole square is multiplied by square root of 2 and now you see here this 2 and this square root are gone this 2 and this square root are gone and we get here 9 divided by 4 into we have 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by square root of 3 and from here these are gone these are gone and we get 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by square root of 2 okay so here we uh, uh, we write after simplification of the terms as this is 9 divided by 4 into this is 3 times 3 becomes 9 into square root of 3 divided by this is 2 times 2 becomes 4 and uh, after that we multiply these terms and we get here 9 9 is 81 times square root of 3 and we write this as 4 times 4 becomes 16 into square root of 2 and now here we rationalize this term with the denominator as we multiply and divide by square root of 2 and after that it will be written as we have this is 81 multiplied by square root of 2, 3 so we combine the square root of these two terms and it will become square root of 3 multiplied by 2 divided by this is 16 into this is 2 times of 2 so it will be written as 81 into square root of 3 times of 2 becomes 6 and this becomes 4 and square root of 4 is also becomes here 2 and we get 16 times of 2. So finally we get here the final simplified form of the given question is 81 times of square root of 6 divided by 16 times of 2 becomes 32. So this is the our final answer of this question and thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.